Contrary to popular belief, the Jedi Order wasn't in the business of snatching babies. It was ultimately up to a child's parents as to whether or not they could be taken in and trained in the ways of the Force. Most parents voluntarily gave their children up to the Jedi, as doing so was seen as a great honour, but some refused to hand their offspring over. There were many Force sensitives in the galaxy who were never trained by the Jedi. By and large, they ended up becoming extraordinarily skilled at whatever they put their minds to, thanks to their natural talents. But some of those Force sensitives ended up becoming threats to the Jedi, like the one we'll be talking about today. This video is a part of the story of Tofen Vane, a Force sensitive who was kept from becoming a Jedi and ended up becoming a hero of the CIS. Attention, Sergeant on deck! As we just mentioned, parents were allowed to deny the Jedi their Force-sensitive children if they so wished. Those children who were kept from the Jedi lived ordinary lives, more or less. Most of them ended up never really being opened up to the Force, but most still got some sort of boost from their Force abilities, making them into prodigies. Many of these children grew up to become leaders in their chosen fields or politically powerful. For example, Jedi reject Alexei Garin grew up to become the leader of Black Sun, which became so influential under his command that Darth Sidious sent Maul, his Sith assassin, to wipe Garin and his Vigos out. But this video isn't about Alexei Garin, it's about a man named Tofen Vane. Tofen was the son of Harko Vane, the Viscount of Valahari, and his wife Elidor. The Vanes were aristocrats, members of the ruling noble house of the planet Valahari. As with many other worlds in that part of the galaxy, which included Count Dooku's homeworld, Sereno, Valahari and its nobles had long been a pain in the Republic's backside, as their ruling nobility seemed to believe they should get special treatment, and resented the interference of galactic government in their affairs. For the Valahari, their quarrel with the Republic was over trade regulations. They built starfighters, some of the best in the galaxy, and they felt that the Republic was bad for their business. As Tofen Vane came of age, these sorts of sentiments were beginning to have serious political consequences in the greater galaxy. They blossomed into the Separatist Crisis, which in turn turned into the Clone Wars. Valahari was one of a few hundred systems to declare neutrality at the start of that conflict. They didn't like the Republic, but they weren't keen on joining the Confederacy either. They sought to trade with both sides, maintaining relations while resisting pressure to join one or the other. The Confederacy took them up on their offer of trade. They commissioned a new line of advanced vulture droids that were built with Valahari engines, which gave them an edge in battle. These new droid fighters began to see action around the time of the Battle of Malastare, and they quickly proved effective. The Valahari engines made them extraordinarily fast and agile, and not even Jedi pilots could outmaneuver them. They gave the Confederacy an edge in the Sereno Theater, something the Republic could not allow. The Senate initially decided to blockade Valahari and all other neutral worlds that traded with the Separatists, but the Jedi managed to convince them to give diplomacy a try first, and dispatched Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi to talk with the Viscount. Shortly after the Jedi landed at House Vane's estate, Anakin became acquainted with Tofen Vane. Tofen's natural force abilities manifested in much the same way as Anakin's had. They gave him extraordinary mechanical skills and a knack for flying. Tofen, like Anakin, regularly entered himself into pod races for fun, and he was considered the best pilot on Valahari. In a sense, Tofen Vane was who Anakin might have become if the Jedi Council had stuck to its guns and refused to train him, a legendary pilot destined for great things. Anakin met Tofen as he was working on the Tempest Zero, an advanced starfighter he had designed himself, distinguished by its bright red paint job. The Tempest Zero was of a highly unusual star-shaped design, equipped with laser cannons, a missile launcher, and even a harpoon gun. Skywalker took an interest in the craft and Tofen quickly bonded with the Jedi Knight over starfighters and piloting. Tofen challenged Skywalker to a pod race, a challenge Skywalker eagerly accepted. Tofen proved to be Anakin's equal at pod racing, with the two crossing the finish line, a narrow canyon on the track, at the exact same time. 
Tofen and Skywalker complemented each other's skills and agreed that a rematch was in order somewhere down the line. That evening, Kenobi and Skywalker met with Harko Vane, the Viscount, and his wife Elidor over dinner. Tofen and his pregnant wife were there as well, as was Count Dooku. As the Jedi discovered, Dooku was an old friend of the Vane family, and the Viscount wished to show impartiality by involving both sides in negotiations. It was clear which side Harko favoured, however. He flatly refused when the Jedi asked him to stop selling engines to the Confederacy and railed against Republic regulation. The Jedi were unable to change his mind and reluctantly relayed his refusal to the Jedi Council. The Republic responded with an immediate blockade of Valahari. Kenobi and Skywalker were assigned as the commanders of the blockade and were in system when the Valahari tried to break it. Ten days after the failure of negotiations, a shipment of engine parts destined for the Confederacy left the planet's surface, guarded by a wing of starfighters. Harko Vane himself was aboard one of the freighters, and he contacted Kenobi aboard the blockade's flagship, warning the Republic to withdraw or face the consequences. Kenobi warned him to stand down in turn, and dispatched his own starfighter wing, led by Anakin Skywalker. This tense standoff ended abruptly when the engines of Vane's freighter violently exploded, killing the Viscount. The other Valahari fighters assumed that Skywalker and his pilots were responsible and attacked, sparking a brief space battle. Skywalker saw to it that the Valahari fighters were defeated, but the damage was already done. The Viscount was dead. Enraged and grief-stricken, Elidor and Tofen Vane swore revenge on the Republic and on Anakin Skywalker, who they believed responsible for the Viscount's death. Valahari seceded and officially declared its allegiance to the Confederacy, and many of the other neutral systems considered joining them, outraged over Harko's death. But Harko Vane wasn't killed by Anakin Skywalker. Gun cams on the Republic's fighters confirmed that neither Skywalker nor his pilots fired on the Valahari freighter, and that it exploded on its own, likely as a result of sabotage. But the Valahari weren't in the mood to listen to the Republic's excuses. Tofen Vane was radicalized by the death of his father and he joined the CIS Navy as a Starfighter pilot. He assembled a squadron of Starfighters and, from the cockpit of the Tempest Zero, led them into battle against the Republic blockade. Kenobi and Skywalker had been transferred away from Valahari after the disaster, and the Jedi who remained didn't stand a chance against Tofen and his men. The Valahari easily wiped out the Republic Starfighter squadrons, and one by one they began destroying the bridges of the blockade's Star Destroyers with proton torpedoes, allowing the warships to be damaged further, then destroyed. Tofen ordered his men to let only a few clones get out of there in an escape pod, so they could inform the Republic of Valahari's secession. After his victory in the Second Battle of Valahari, Tofen assembled a squadron of crack pilots, who were supplied with new starfighters based on the Tempest Zero. They named themselves Tofen's Raiders, and they started performing lightning strikes on Republic fleets all over the Sereno Theater, crippling attempted blockades of other neutral systems and dealing the Jedi defeat after defeat. Since Anakin Skywalker had been reassigned to another part of the galaxy, the Republic had no pilot on hand that was able to match Tofen and his men. Tofen's raiders smashed fleet after fleet and the Confederacy hailed them as heroes. As time went on, Tofen was radicalized further, while his mother came under the influence of Count Dooku, who sought to bring Valahari deeper into the Separatist fold. But hope wasn't quite lost for the Republic. The Jedi had dispatched Obi-Wan Kenobi to find the truth of what happened to Harko Vane, and they were beginning to reconsider reassigning Skywalker. Tofen and Anakin would meet again, and this time, the contest of who was the better pilot would be much more dangerous. But that's a story for another time, namely a few days from now to be specific. Part 2 of the story of Tofen Vane is coming soon, and we hope you're excited to hear it, but what do you think of Tofen's story so far? Feel free to post your thoughts in the comments below and keep an eye out for our next video.